God is looking for people who will partner with Him in fulfilling His purposes on earth. Our topic today, Making a Difference, Hebrews 11 verse 7. By faith, Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness which is according to faith. That was Hebrews 11 verse 7. The story of Noah teaches us the following. 1. You can make a difference in your family. The scripture says, by faith, Noah built an ark to save his family. Noah's decision didn't just benefit him personally, it saved his entire household. It took him many years, but he did it. Absolutely, by God's grace, you too can win your family to Christ. Number two, you can make a difference for future generations. Noah not only survived the flood, but God used him to start the world all over again. What a calling! What an impact! What a legacy! The eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to Him. 2 Chronicles 16 verse 9 God is looking for people who will partner with Him in fulfilling His purposes on earth. Hence, to qualify, A. You must be willing to stand out from the crowd. Noah believed in his vision when nobody else did. Difference makers are different. Don't let that bother you. B. You must not be afraid to do something for the first time. Don't let the words, it's never been done before, keep you from obeying God. People probably told Noah, it's not raining. Who needs a boat? Of a truth, they were wrong and Noah was right. C. You must endure the rain in order to see the rainbow. So, take your stand and believe God for what He has promised He will perform. Jeremiah 1 verse 12. Number 3. You can make a difference at any age. Stop putting yourself down because of your age. Noah was 500 years old when he started preaching and building the ark. It's not over till God says it's over. Look at 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10 and 9 verse 24. 15 verse 10 But by the grace of God I am what I am, and His grace toward me did not prove vain. But I labored even more than all of them, yet not I, but the grace of God with me. 9.24 Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may win. Note the testimony and confession of Apostle Paul in those scriptures. God's grace is a difference maker. Our meditation today is taken from Psalm 102 verse 13. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to be gracious to her, for the appointed time has come. For your Bible study, read Matthew chapter 4, Exodus chapters 25, 26, and 27, and Proverbs 12, 